Hello everybody. This week I'm on board the Celebrity Cruise Line Celebrity Summit Aqua Class Stateroom 9070 and I'm taking you on a tour. Oh it's true. It's damn true. Stay tuned. Hello everybody on this glorious beautiful day in Key West, Florida. I am the bus man and this is another episode of On The Road. This channel is your gateway to all of my travel tips, guidance and advice on all things related to motorcycling, motovlogging, cruise and destination vacations. For those of you watching who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. It is appreciated. With your support, my channel is slowly but surely growing. For those of you watching who have not yet subscribed, my only ask is that if you like the content, why not consider hitting that like and subscribe button and ringing that bell for future notifications. It's absolutely free, no commitment, no obligation. Doing so will only let you know when I put out future content. So, without further ado, pitter patter, uh, let's get at her. So today, uh, once more, I have the absolute pleasure of being on board a celebrity cruise ship. Uh, this is a five night Western Caribbean cruise, which departed out of the port of Miami with ports of call in Key West, where we are today. And the day after tomorrow, Cozumel. As was mentioned in the intro, um, this is a uh, stateroom tour. Uh, I am in an aqua class stateroom uh, on the ninth deck on board the Celebrity Summit. And uh, I am midship on the starboard side. So I have the primo location and the added bonus of the aqua class and everything that it comes with. So I'll just touch on a few of the amenities that come with aqua class and then throughout the tour uh, I'll demonstrate and show some of the, the added features. Uh, so uh, the big one um, is the blue restaurant. That's the, probably when you say aqua class, everybody thinks blue. Uh, I've been in the blue restaurant once so far on this cruise and it is very uh, clean, contemporary, upscale, uh, modern eating uh, as it were. Uh, some of the, I'm a more meat and potatoes, basic food kind of guy, but for those of you who like that clean, healthy eating lifestyle, this is the restaurant for you. No doubt about it. Let's uh, get on with the tour and uh, we'll talk about some of the other features and amenities as we roll through the room. All right, as always, we'll start uh, at the front door. So uh, you can see the deep sleep card. Make sure uh, that you use that, it's magnetic. Uh, anytime that you don't want to be disturbed or if you don't want your stateroom attendant knocking on your door in the morning, uh, put it out there and you can enjoy your good night's rest. Uh, like all cruise ship staterooms, you have your uh, assembly station reminder card, it has your escape routes. On this particular room, it's deck 4B1, which is the uh, photo uh, album library area adjacent to the uh, uh, theater you have your general emergency alarm reminder life jacket reminder and uh, in this room the life jackets are under the bed to the right my right uh, of the uh, stateroom you have your light switch which is your master switch which turns on all the lights when you enter the room to my left uh, you have the uh, storage uh, closet uh, followed by additional storage uh, to the left of that. Uh, below you'll find uh, the mini bar and additional uh, drawers. All right, so I have the closet doors open right now and uh, you can see the inside door on the right side of the closet has a full length uh, mirror, which is perfect for making sure that uh, all your bib and tucker is exactly right before you head out onto the cruise ship. 
And on the right side of the closet, uh, it has a, a, a plethora of uh, storage space. There's plenty of space to hang all of your stuff, which takes uh, me to the first perk, uh, additional perk of Aqua Class. So you get these uh, Celebrity Cruise bathrobes. There's two of them. They're really thick and they're really plush. They're very, very comfortable. So you do get upgraded bathrobes as part of the Aqua Class experience. The second perk that you get are slippers. So uh, uh, I obviously I haven't taken these out of the package yet, but they, they definitely look comfortable. So uh, I'll probably get some use out of those at a later date and time. Moving on to the left side of the closet, uh, again, plenty of storage space. This is a shorter storage area, so you can see I'm using this area to hang pants. Uh, I also have a, uh, an alternate jacket, and there's additional shelves below you can see, which I'm using to store shoes. So there's plenty of storage uh, in the uh, storage closets. Okay, I got the doors closed. The next thing I'll show you is a perk of Aqua Class. Uh, you can see these two uh, small uh, roller bags up there. Those are yoga mats. So uh, as part of the uh, clean, healthy living lifestyle in Aqua Class, they provide you with two yoga mats for your use. All right, so I have the doors open now and uh, you can see there are four separate cubby spaces two on each uh, behind each door so for the first one uh, I'm using this to hold my camera gear uh, my first aid kit which I always travel with and always recommend people do uh, below that we have the in-room safe this is a smaller safe than what you would find on a solstice class ship or an edge class ship uh, it won't fit my iPad the other ships I've been on it will and I have a 12 inch iPad uh, Two additional storage spaces you have a beach towel or a couple of beach towels here if you take them off the ship on an excursion don't lose them there's an additional charge um, you have some glassware here for uh, any libations that you may wish to partake in so this takes us uh, to the next uh, benefit of aqua class so these cans of bottled water are included. You get two per day uh, for each day uh, of your cruise. There's no additional charge for having, uh, for drinking these or using these. So take advantage of them. Uh, stick them in your fridge and take them with you when you head out the next day. Secondly, uh, if you're like me and you're a CPAPer, then feel free to ask your travel agent or celebrity through your booking uh, tool at the time you book. Uh, that you advise them that you do have CPAP, they'll provide you with a gallon of, of distilled water free of charge. This is uh, uh, the room service uh, menu for Aqua Class. So with regard to the room service for Aqua Class, uh, there are different menu items in the room service menu. Uh, there are healthy eating uh, choices that are not found, uh, for example, in concierge class or inside cabins. Um, th so this is specifically for uh, the aqua class. Now, one change that I did note when I was looking through the menu, and I'm glad I read it uh, because I did not know this, but now you will. There is now a $10 charge for each time that you order room service to your stateroom. Um, this is something new. I don't know exactly when it started, but to be forewarned is to be foretold. So if you order room service to your room, with the exception of continental breakfast items, uh, you will be billed $10. All right, so we're gonna move on to the uh, mini bar itself. So as you can see, uh, everything works. The fridge is nice and cold and uh, it is loaded to the hilt with all kinds of things that are not included uh, in your cruise fare. So again, as I've talked about in past videos, um, there are packages available at the time of booking. Talk to your travel agent or book them online directly on the cruise planner and celebrity.com. Uh, there are packages, as I've said, that are available 
for purchase that will allow you to consume any of the items in your mini fridge. Personally, um, I don't think they're worth the money. However, to each their own and uh, to be forewarned again is to be foretold. So if you uh, like seeing extra charges on your stateroom account, by all means, consume and drink from the mini bar fridge. All right, moving on into the bathroom. So the first thing that we'll note is there is a night light in the bathroom, which is quite handy. So you don't need to turn on all of the lights in the room in order to uh, be able to uh, use the bathroom. And uh, at nighttime when it is dark, it does throw a considerable amount of light. Speaking of throwing a considerable amount of light. Okay, so you can see all of the uh, feature lighting and the LED lighting. The bathroom is very well lit. It is very modern, very contemporary. Uh, moving over to the bathroom door on the inside, you'll see there's four hooks there for hanging towels or wet clothes or whatever you like. Moving into the bathroom itself, there are uh, four, or sorry, two shelves, uh, which, are, which are very similar to the uh, edge class corner units that you'll see uh, if you've ever been aboard an edge class ship. Uh, the sink is also very similar to what you would see on an edge class ship. It's a single sink with the tap on the right hand side. And uh, as you can see, there's excellent water pressure. And when you turn the, the hot water on, it gets hot. Oh, okay, that's, uh, it gets hot here fairly quickly, which is good. Um, you have your standard uh, tissue paper. Uh, it's a good size, uh, sink area the one thing that you will note is the bathroom is quite compact uh, it's definitely smaller than uh, a solstice class ship or an edge class ship uh, you do have towel racks with spare towels on the side uh, with your toilet paper standard toilet with a little trash can that you would find in any cruise ship uh, beside the toilet and under the sink, uh, there's a storage area where you have additional, couple of additional towels. Under that, you have uh, another little storage area where there's uh, additional toilet paper and tissue paper, what have you. Uh, under the sink, uh, at the very bottom, uh, you do have uh, a hair dryer. And uh, as usual, um, I don't know why Celebrity would put uh, the uh, outlet. There are two outlets on board this cruise ship. Uh, one is marked 120, the other one's marked 220. Obviously I'm using this one for uh, to my toothbrush, which takes us next to the shower space. Uh, the shower in here, as you can tell, is uh, compact. That's the word I'll use. Uh, the, the, the Solstice Clash and the Edge Clash ships have definitely have bigger showers. However, uh, that takes us to another perk of uh, Aqua Class. So I'll just spin this around so that you can see it. Uh, you do get Bigelow uh, shower supplies and soap. Uh, you get the, the hand soap or you get the body wash, the conditioner and the shampoo. Another perk of Aqua Class is this shower head has five additional uh, or adjustable spray patterns and massage patterns. Um, this does adjust up and down to, to whatever height uh, that you desire. Uh, standard cruise ship controls on the left side turns the water off and on. There is an eco mode. However, there's not any real water pressure in eco mode. Uh, to the right side is your water temperature and uh, the water does get hot quite quickly. Uh, at least in this room. Again, on the left side, uh, you have a, a, a rack which holds all of your uh, shower supplies. Again, those are all Bigelow. And the bathroom uh, at the bottom, as you can see, it has a uh, foot bar. Uh, for sure. All right, so you can see me standing in the shower and as everybody can clearly see, I'm a big guy. So, uh, the first thing I noticed when I used this shower is uh, it is a little tight in here. Uh, again, the overall size of the bathroom, it, it is compact, but I will say it is well laid out. It is very functional. Everything works. It's spotlessly clean. Um, so really, I don't have any complaints at all. 
Uh, but uh, if you've never been uh, on board a Millennium class ship, specifically uh, uh, the Celebrity Summit, the first thing that's going to strike you is uh, the bathrooms are definitely smaller than Solstice or Edge class. So I'm just going to close the, uh, the shower door. Forgive if the uh, if it's if the microphone sounds a little echoey, um, I'm in a closed space. But uh, as you can see, if you're standing lengthwise, there's a decent amount of room. However, when I'm standing facing the shower head, uh, both elbows are touching the glass and the wall, so it is a little tight. Uh, but as you can see, um, you can maneuver. It just is definitely a, a little bit smaller, but it does work. So another nice thing uh, about this bathroom, as you can see that it does have a clothesline. Edge and Solstice class ships do not have this feature. So there are pros and cons, gives and takes to everything. All right, moving on to the from the bathroom, we will move over to the uh, bedroom area. So as you can see, there are uh, updated globe style lights with a little art deco uh, pattern above the headboard to the right side of the bed, my right. Uh, there's another uh, globe style lamp. And uh, the nice uh, thing about this particular update with the Revolution is you can see that there are not one but two plugs beside the bed with two USBs. They are not USB-Cs. There are no USB-Cs anywhere in the room. Uh, so if you have USB-Cs or you need or want USB-C, then you're going to have to bring adapters with you. So another uh, feature on the wall here is you have a dimmer switch. This is a master or a light switch um, for the bedding. So when I depress it, you can see a lot of the ceiling lights go out. I press it again, ceiling lights come on. There's some ni nice accent lighting uh, above the bed, which is good. The, the, the uh, end tables, uh, there are, uh, the drawers do slide out for additional storage. And there's plenty of room, uh, no question about it. The other end table matches uh, the one on the other side of the bed. The bed itself, is a king size bed and like uh, most other cruise ships uh, the bed will uh, separate into two twin beds i, I have the single king uh, configuration uh, in terms of comfort level uh, this mattress is outstanding very 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 comfortable uh, it's plush uh, it's not lumpy it's not too hard uh, i have nothing but good things to say about this bed uh, the pillows, uh, very comfortable again, uh, no issues, concerns or complaints about that. And as usual, uh, right across from the bed, slightly offset to the bed, but in front of the bed you have your 42 inch TV. Moving across the room, uh, we're coming into what I'm going to call the vanity makeup mirror area. It can also be used uh, as a desk or a workspace uh, for a laptop or anything else you want to use it for. Into uh, the corner you have additional storage shelves here that you can see. And this location is where the uh, two uh, US uh, 120 volt plugs are along with the European style plug and two additional USB ports. Again, they're not USB-C. Uh, to the left side uh, of the uh, desk space, you have an additional four drawers uh, for storing additional stuff. So there's no question, there's plenty of storage uh, in this room. Now this, it has to be one of the most comfortable chairs that I've ever sat in. It's, it's wider than a regular chair, but it's smaller than a couch. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I'm calling it super comfy. Um, again, no issues or concerns. Very comfortable. It comes with a little uh, sliding movable table. Uh, the carpeting in the room still looks new from the Revolution. Uh, no stains. It's very clean as you can see. And the overall decor of the room, I would say it's very modern, very contemporary. So a couple of times during uh, the tour of the room, I've talked about the Revolution. 
So uh, uh, in 2019, the Celebrity Summit was put into dry dock and uh, that's celebrity's term for a, a renovation or a complete overhaul. The, the Celebrity Summit and the Celebrity Millennium have been revolutionized. Uh, the Celebrity Infinity and the Celebrity Constellation have not. So if you look at some of the other uh, YouTube videos or some of the other content uh, available on the internet, you can see what uh, the rooms looked like before the revolution uh, and, and this one after the revolution, night and day. Uh, this looks like a, a completely brand new room. Uh, I'm actually uh, very impressed. Uh, some of the other differences that I've noticed from Solstice class and the Edge class, which was my first ship, this room is considerably smaller than uh, a standard veranda that you would get on uh, uh, an, an Edge class ship or a Solstice class ship. Um, I would compare this room, it's very similar in size to a solo cabin on board an Edge class ship. The bathroom looks almost exactly the same as a solo cabin on an Edge class ship. Uh, and the way it's designed and laid out, um, even the shower is in the same configuration. So um, yeah, I would have, but none of that would stop me from booking this cabin again. Uh, this has uh, been uh, a wonderful experience. This, uh, the Celebrity Summit, again, this is, if I didn't mention it earlier, this is my first cruise on the Celebrity Summit and uh, I am very impressed. And all right, the piece de resistance, the veranda. Oh yes. Oh yes. So it comes the veranda, you have two uh, chairs that are pretty standard and typical. The chairs, even though they don't look like it, are quite comfortable. Uh, and as you can tell, the veranda itself uh, is in very good condition. There's no signs of any rust out. Uh, everything above is very clean, organized, and bam. This is why we get verandas. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are in Key West today. And uh, this, is, this is the view that I get to enjoy. From deck nine of the Celebrity Summit, starboard side. Can never get bored with that. All right, so in uh, wrapping up this uh, room tour review, uh, a couple of final notes. Um, in Aqua Class, there's no longer any uh, daily snack trays or canapes. That's strictly only found in Concierge Class now. Uh, I didn't mention earlier as part of Concierge Class and Aqua Class, you do have uh, a pillow menu. So if you don't like the uh, pillows that are in your room upon check-in, all you got to do is talk to your stateroom attendant. Uh, there's a variety, of, a menu of different pillows that you can choose from, so don't be afraid to ask. Additionally, uh, uh, as an Aqua Class guest, uh, you do have access as part of the healthy, living, clean lifestyle uh, to the Persian Garden. So uh, make sure uh, you know you're paying for Aqua Class. It's included in the in the cruise fare. And believe me, people spend a lot of money getting access to the Persian Garden. I was told that the, the listed price for being able to, uh, if you want to pay to play, as it were, then uh, it would be about $100 a day to access the Persian Garden. Well, if you're on a seven night cruise at $100 a day, <laughs> $700. Now those, they're, they're nice facilities. You have the heated lounge chairs, you got the steam room, the sauna. Uh, those are nice. I'm not sure if they're worth $100 a day, but to each their own. Uh, uh, if you know, factor that in, if you're deciding whether or not to spend the extra money for Aqua Class and you want to use those facilities, well, factor that in to the equation. The other thing with Aqua Class that differentiates itself from uh, concierge class verandas or inside rooms is uh, at aqua class and retreat class the, the the cruise fare that's listed on the website is all included so with aqua class uh, it includes uh, the, the the cruise fare the room the state room uh, a basic drink package uh, tips and basic wi-fi 
rolled up into the one price. Uh, for example, concierge class, it's envelope, it's cruise fare only. So you're gonna have to add all of those extra amenities uh, at a later date and time uh, if you want them. So other than that, uh, I'm uh, in totality, I'm very happy with this room. And on the bus man scale, this stateroom on the Celebrity Summit, 9070 Aqua Class, starboard side, gets a solid four and a half out of five stars. I have zero complaints. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And I know if you book this stateroom, you will be too. And with that, I'm calling this one a wrap. I am the bus man. You take care, be well, and I'll see you on the road. Aye, aye, and goodbye. Peace. You take care, everybody.